indeed. But I, I don't understand that. Well, it's just like Somebody the grand, like I got neighbors who's has lived on that or has property on that mountain and a structure on that mountain longer than I have. Right. And they have never, ever, ever paid a garbage fee, ever. When I lived in Charleston, I paid. They sent me the ticket with the. They said, well, "Why aren't they being hassled over that?" You'd have to ask them, or you ask the service. I mean, in the papers, she said if you had a dwelling, you had to have it pay it. Okay. And there's no exception. So you're around. you're suggesting that the, this law is not being equally applied? No, no, it's not. And not just one person, but several people. Several people that have never ever paid. In other words, and I don't the county think they could should be getting more money. I don't think they should be paying it. Right, I agree. Because they're only up here a few, a few times but a year. But the point of it is, why should you pay if you're in similarly situated Because pay? I'm not politically correct. Because okay. I'm the one who caught Dole and Irvin not paying his taxes. Yeah, so you have offended the powers that be. Yeah. Yes. I think that's the reason. That's the only reason I can think of. Right, because I can't uh, think I of I don't any have other. any social interactions with any, hardly anybody in well, this no. county. Because I'm, I'm like a hermit. I am a hermit. And that does offend me. Right. I enjoy living back here. Right. But these other people are being, there's, there's, this issue only exists for you. And you're To a, my knowledge, it's, I'm yeah. the only one. Um, and some of them just throws up their hands and say, what the hell, you can't fight City Hall type of thing. Well, they're women. I mean, they don't have to well, pay they, the fee. If they, they had to pay the fee. <laughs> you want to see something else? They sold a house up there on top of that mountain that's 100% in Virginia. According to Virginia maps, according to West Virginia maps, according to the government maps, 100% Virginia, they sold it on the courthouse steps down in Marlington. Now I don't know what's well, how coming could back. They, how could I don't know. They've had Virginia police up there, state West Virginia state police up there, and the, the previous owner and the new owner. They take turns taking locks off of buildings, and this the previous owner, the actual owner of the building, he has a bunch of. Uh, Stuffed animals in it. He's a taxidermist, right? And he's the one who goes around around here and getting all these people's deers and bear heads. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he wasn't pay. He stopped paying taxes to West Virginia because he's my house is in Virginia. But but they sold his house. Yeah, on the courthouse there. How could they have sold his house if it wasn't in this state? You tell me. I would think he would complain about. Oh, he did. They stole it from him. I don't know exactly where he's at right now, or where, where the situation it is, but. The guy who bought the house is using it, so in Delhi, they're somehow but by hook or crook, is, some is way they did it. Is that man uh, adding to or modifying that house in no, any way? It's, it's Maybe he knows that he doesn't have a good claim to it. It's just an old house. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's an old, he, he fixed that up a long time ago. Him and his, uh, I think it's his son-in-law owned it together or something like that. I don't know whose name it is, but I know that he used it constantly. But I don't care who owns it, who's in it. The thing of it was, the house is not in West Virginia. Right. It's in Virginia. And yet, we, uh, and yet West Virginia sold, sold it. Yeah. yeah. I think I was over... Claimed he was... Uh, the only way they could have done that was claim that he, to ta uh, he hadn't paid his taxes. Well, that means that... He didn't pay taxes in West Virginia because he's not a resident of West Virginia. Not in West Virginia. Virginia. So, That's uh, the reason he didn't pay taxes to West Virginia. That sounds to me like somebody owes somebody a house. Sounds like it to me. And a piece of land. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to be settled, but... Uh, no, I'd like to know the name of that person because... Well, I can get you the name. Yeah. That's a very interesting thing. That also means that West Virginia, Pocahontas County Assessors, don't either don't know what they're doing or they're stealing land from Virginia. That's basically that's what, about, it is. Not what it amounts to. <laughs> that's basically they stole land from uh, from Virginia and sold it. Yeah. Uh, that could mean several people could be in that same situation. You don't well, pay your taxes because you don't. Uh, there's two houses across from me. Mm -hmm. That's every bit of their land. Not not any of it is in West Virginia. They pay taxes in garbage fees to Pocahontas County. Huh. And that's not my assumption. I can show you right. the maps and the flyovers. And even and their that. lands are not in, not in what? Yeah. Uh. They're not at all in Pocahontas County. Well, does uh, Virginia not have any problem with that? I don't know. Of course, what Virginia Tracy, seems to be pretty willing to, they're willing to let you uh, get your mail at Warm Springs, Well, right? they're, they're not letting me. It's the federal government who says that whatever your frontage is is what your address is. Oh, okay. And that's my address because the frontage, which is Cary Lane, is in Virginia. 
Okay. I don't have any other access to my property other than going up Cary Lane. And so the yeah. United States Force, I mean, uh, the Postal Service is saying that that's, that's the way That's it their is. laws. But yeah. you're saying that West Virginia doesn't recognize this. Well, Pocahontas County doesn't Pocahontas recognize County. Yeah. yeah, that's so, a good correction. Uh, which is kind of strange in a way. So, I mean, everybody else's, everybody else's property is... You get an address because of your furniture, the street you're on. No other reason. I mean, that's the only way you can get it. Okay, well, let's go back to this current uh, issue. Uh, is the issue of they wanted to change the name of Cary Lane? Yeah, they wanted to change it to Cheyenne Lane. Now, who who did that? That was... Uh, is that Sean Dunbrack? Yeah, that's who it was. Well, Sean is a, is a, is a Pocahontas County man. Is he he's saying then that Cary Lane is actually in in West Virginia? He stated that it is now. <laughs> that huh. it's he he said it's going to be Cary Lane and because it's on private land. And you this Cary Lane uh, or Shawnee Lane, which Sh Sh uh, Sh Cheyenne Lane Cheyenne Lane was no name they just picked out of the air, right. Uh, and uh, they had but it going is it a renaming of of uh, Cary Lane, or is it an additional road? It's additional road. He said it's right beside Cary Lane. Okay. So it'd be like two lanes going. Did up he to have that. a? Do you have a map? Or did yeah, he show he gave you a map? It to me. Yeah, he gave it to me. So I mean, because when I asked him, I said, "Where's that?" He says, "Right here beside of it." So and he goes through private property. That road does through the guy's yard, and I'm quite. Confidence that guy's not going to surrender any of his property to have another road that where we already have a road servicing this. Well, yeah, I know. I don't understand that at all. I don't either. Uh, it sounds like they're trying to take his land. That's what it sounds. That's maybe what they he, tried to do. Maybe he understands that. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, but the, you front your house fronts Cary Lane. Yes, it does. And you say that uh, we're looking this up now. This United States postal, postal service manager says if. Your address is where you front. It's the frontage of your property. Okay. That's what your legal address would be. And I'm just going by what the federal government says, because this, this federal government supersedes states' rules and regulations, and state rules and regulations supersedes oh, county I mean, rules right, and regulations, yeah. and county regulations supersedes city rules and regulations. That's right. So uh, I'm trying to follow it the way to, to stay legal on this thing. But as far as the issue now, Tom, you're you're faced with a lawsuit. Yeah, they were shooting me once. They said I got letters telling me that it had a judgment against me back when I got back from uh, I came. My brother passed away, and I was coming back from Alabama last year, and uh, I got the letter in the mail, and because uh, my mail was being held, and uh, I opened it up, and they said they got a judgment against me, and I called up there to the attorneys that represented. Uh, the solid waste people up in Elkins and I talked to a lady and I said, I said who to talk to and I asked her I said it says I got a judge you have a judgment against me I said aren't you supposed to tell me that you're going to you know so you're saying you were never told you were I, even being sued I was never told I was going to be sued or where to show up at if I am being sued okay right to defend yourself to defend myself and she said well we we try to get a hold of you and you have no recorded address or telephone number. And that's when I said, well, if I have no recorded address, how did I get this letter? You actually had a letter that had been mailed to you? Yeah, that's, that's where I was calling from. I was using that letter to call her because I was looking at her address and stuff. That's weird. So, Was that a, someone here at the post office that told you that? Oh, no, it was an attorney up in Elkins. That's their attorneys up there. Oh, okay, yeah. They have some outside the county... Well, that's, 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 where, that's where they were located. It was in Elkins. But they they couldn't get a, they admitted they couldn't get a hold of you. They said that I had no they couldn't get a hold of me because I had no recorded address. So they just went ahead and sued you. Yeah. But oh. they sent me a letter telling me I they got a judgment against me. They, and it yeah, got they could get that letter. They could get I got that, that letter. letter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got that letter. <laughs> that's pretty bizarre. It is. And now I. Uh, Gonna go back down there again and say, okay, "Tell me when you're gonna do it, and I'll be there to defend myself." Because I, I don't think anybody with an iota of intelligence could sit there and say that I cannot participate in disposing of my trash in a legal manner in West Virginia under the sanctions of the 
the uh, free day. And the reason I want the free day is because, one, they overtaxed me on my house, expand the size of my house, which is, I didn't change the size of my house. It's always been that size. That's right. They expand the size so of my somebody's lot. Somebody's trying to retaliate against you for raising this issue. They, they expand the size of my lot. My lot's not as big as they say it is. They over-evaluate my, pro my house. I made it with a chainsaw. And, uh, you know, it's just a board, lap, lap board, weathered siding house. Uh, nothing elaborate. I don't have any utilities, so I can't have a washing machine, dryers, and stuff like that. Uh, I cook with propane, and I have to haul propane. And then I went down to try to get a propane tank set so I could get through the winter without right. having to get off that hill ever so often, carrying a big tank. Southern State says they would not set a tank for me. I said, why? I said, you've got to have a secondary source of heat. I said, well, i got a fireplace, but it's not very good. It can't heat my whole house. That, that open fireplace is just a, mainly ornamental. I said, don't have any electric. Can't have electric. And uh, I said, my house is made the way it is. You know, I, I don't. That's the reason I went to propane is to heat my house. Because I changed. I did have a fireplace, uh, a wood stove. And I took it out because it was dirty and it was unsafe. And I, my son talked me into putting propane heat throughout the house. And that's what I did. Now I can't get it serviced. And, but yet, neighbors on both sides of me have tanks. <laughs> but well, how are they getting their set? I, Was that the same outfit? Same outfit, Southern States. Southern, Southern States. States will do that for them? Gets every one of them. But you can't me. get them to let you. They won't do it for you. They, never, they won't do it for me. So, you tell me. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's because I'm the only one who lives up there year-round. Right. And they're afraid to deliver it up because the road is bad. So I guess they'd have to call, well, I couldn't call West Virginia 911 because they don't respond. The, when we had that big storm, Mountain Grove 911 people came up and cleared that road to check on me. West Virginia did not. Pocahontas County did not send anybody up there. So that's one reason. I mean, Virginia... So you're a, saying 911 doesn't... They didn't send anybody. Doesn't up to service your. Sure. They didn't in that. Your, yeah. They didn't do it during that big wind blow thing. It blew all the trees down. Whatever they called that. Yet yep. you, uh, they. Changed.